Welcome back to another week of training. Uh, it's Monday. I just finished like the longest swim I think I've done so far. It's like 2660. That's how many yards it was. I still I know I talk about this a lot. I, I'm getting headphones soon while I'm swimming just because it is it's just not not entertaining to swim that far. I need something to listen to, but should be a good week. It's a, a full week of training. Last week was an active recovery week and it was a shorter week because of New Year's and also had one day off this past weekend because we went and picked up our puppy. We'll get to meet that little guy here in a minute. But I'm scheduled for, I think about 11 hours of training this week. So it'll be good to get that volume back in. Yesterday, I climbed out these lifts for the first time too. I didn't film it. Oh my God, the beauty of New York. I didn't film it but I got it done. And if you follow me on Strava or my new training Instagram, then you'll see there's proof, but it felt good to finally accomplish that. I've never made it all the way to the top before. So that was cool. But walking home, I'll put on the screen, by the way, what this full week is looking like. Again, it's a good start to the week since I got this one done. Now I just gotta keep, keep that momentum going through the week. For some reason, I don't know if you see the swim, it's probably yellow. But I did all the sets I was supposed to do. However, it didn't add up to the distance I was supposed to do. So I'm not really sure what the issue is there. I have to reach out to my coach about it. It's gonna be a, an interesting week, first full week with the puppy. All right, let's go meet this little guy. Come here. Hello. Look at that cute little face. Say hi, Lucky. Yeah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> That's his hiding spot. Say hello. He's such a cutie. I went swimming. I went swimming this morning. Did you sleep well? Yeah. That's lucky. Isn't he the cutest little pup? He's like a little teddy bear. He's camera shy. He'll warm up over time. Okay, so I know this is my training channel, so I won't have too much real estate stuff on it. First off, please ignore this pimple. This is what happens when I'm training too much, but I am currently at one of our listings, so I just had to show it because we are at apartment 54W at One Beacon Court, but this is facing south and it's perfect time. You're getting sunset, uh, but you can see all the way down to the Freedom Tower. You can see the Chrysler building. You can see all of Billionaire's Row over here, which is really sick. And then you can actually see Central Park off in the distance as well. But what's really cool is that you have a platform bed back here. I mean, you don't really see these that often here in the city. So it's really cool to see. And then this is actually, you have a projector up here where a screen will come down. But personally, I think I would wanna look out at this view every night instead of a TV, but that's just me. But one other thing I just wanted to show you guys, cause I know you guys like fitness and you like living a healthy lifestyle is this. You have a freaking sauna in here. Could you imagine having one of these in your New York City apartment? And we're 54 floors up, which is pretty, pretty unreal. But not only is there a sauna, there's a jacuzzi as well. I mean, the thought of sitting in this jacuzzi at night, looking out at the World Trade Center down there at night, you can watch cars going down Lexington, this place. This place is unreal, man. But I'm not gonna show you the whole thing. This is just the bedroom. If you wanna see the full apartment tour, I actually have it on my other channel, which is my real estate, it's Ashton Tours. I have it linked up above and down in the description, but that's for where I do most of my uh, property tours and everything. So make sure you go check that channel out if you wanna see the full property tour. But yeah, we have this on the market for right under 18 million. Yeah, it's just stunning. So go check it out. But that's it for the real estate, I promise. Top of the morning, currently doing a speed bike workout. 54 minutes. I just finished one of the main sets. So have one, two, three, four, five, five more or four more main sets to go. I'll put the workout on the screen. I feel like my legs are starting to get stronger. I mean, I'm saying that now. I'm only 20 minutes into this workout. We'll see how I'm feeling <laughs> at the end, but I feel like this work is paying off, but we'll really find out in about four weeks or so. Three, three weeks maybe, because I have I'm doing another FTP test, well, fitness test for the bike run and the swim at the end of this month. So that'll really tell me 
how much progress I've made. I'm just hoping for a little bit of progress because like I said before, progress is happiness. I'm about to go into the next big set. Wish me luck. I know it doesn't look like it because I'm breathing hard. I feel good this morning, which isn't always the case. So this is nice. I'll check back in at the end. Let's go. Hello. You coming to watch me cycle? Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's not your pad. I lied. I don't feel strong anymore. I just finished all the main sets. Now I'm in a 10 minute cool down. What got me at the end was the three minutes at 220 watts break and then two minutes at 220. I just try to tell myself during those hard sets, like just keep pushing. This is where the progress is made. Or at least I hope, I can hope so. Do you guys feel like you make more bike gains during speed bike workouts or during your endurance rides? I mean, they're obviously both important, but oh, I feel like it's a speed bike for me. I always feel like I'm dying at the end. So we got it done. Well, not yet. 10 minute cool down, but the hard part's done. I was struggling, but then my son came walking in here. I was like, I can't be a bitch in front of him. And then he pissed on the floor and that ruined that moment. I'll be honest. I didn't feel like coming tonight. It's rainy outside. I'm a little tired and I just want to stay home with the pup. But I made it here anyways. I'll put the full workout up on the screen. If you've been watching some of my previous videos, you know that I'll do two full body workouts a week. So this is the first one since it's Tuesday evening. I usually will start off with regular deadlifts. That's what I've been doing lately. But I really haven't been activating my hamstrings like I would like to. So I am pivoting to Romanian deadlifts. So doing five sets, and again, the whole point here is to focus more on my hamstrings because I use those so much on the bike. So let's get 10 reps. I feel that so much more in my hamstrings than the regular deadlift. So with Romanian, instead of starting at the ground and then lifting up, you already start standing up and then build, bend down with a slight bend in the knees. So that definitely helps feel it a little bit more in the hamstring. I'm not gonna film the whole workout. Also because I'm doing this and then I was normally doing a bent over barbell row right afterwards. It was just a lot on my lower back at once. So instead of doing the bent over barbell row, I'm gonna do the hammer strength row. A little bit less pressure on my lower back because I have a speed run tomorrow. I don't want my lower back to be hurting. I'm actually kind of looking forward to the swim this morning that I have, but really for one reason only. I finally got a pair of swimming headphones. So Hopefully this helps it go by a little faster, or at least not be boring. You know, obviously I'm not gonna have headphones during the swim of the race, but for the race, like you're in the moment, you're, you know, just enjoying the fact that you're finally doing the actual race itself. Doing these swim workouts with these headphones hopefully will make it a lot better. I got these shocks open swim headphones. I saw good reviews about them. The only thing that's like kind of eh about it about them is the fact that you have to like upload songs to the headphones. Like you can't use Bluetooth. So I can't like listen to Spotify, but I found a way to download a lot of my Spotify songs to the headphones themselves. So I, I guess the Bluetooth doesn't really work that well 
when you're underwater, which makes sense. Yeah, so should, hopefully we'll be a good swim this morning. I'll keep you posted on how the headphones work. And then yesterday, I didn't film it. I didn't feel like filming yesterday morning. I just wanted to get the workout done, but I had a speed run workout. It kicked my ass, but in a good way. You know, I was saying the other day, like I feel like when you're really struggling during the workouts, but you just push through it anyways. I feel like that's when you really have your growth. So that's why I keep trying to remind myself when I'm struggling right now. Well, not right now, but during the workouts. But yeah, let's have a good swim. I don't normally say this, but it's, it feels weird having this excitement to go get in the water, especially when it's cold outside. I'll check back in after the swim. I'll let you guys, let, I can't talk this morning. It's still a little early. I'll let you know my thoughts on these headphones and if I would recommend. These headphones are an absolute game changer. Holy shit. That was hands down the most intense swim workout I've done of training so far. And 100% it's because of those headphones. It's crazy, like, what adding music to your workout, the level of intensity that you'll push yourself. I mean, I definitely, I got my fastest 100. I think it was like 139. But my average pace for the whole workout was like 144 for 100, which normally it's like high 150s. So that just goes to show you that just adding music, the difference that it can make to a workout. I highly recommend getting those headphones. They were great. When I was underwater, because I guess, you know, music underwater, it sounded like surround sound because they're the bone conducting headphones. So they don't go in my ears, but that was, that was something else. I haven't pushed myself like that during a swim. I don't think ever. And obviously I won't have those headphones during the actual race but if i can train at that intensity all throughout training then i guarantee you that that work will show up on race day i'm so happy i finally got those oh, all right it's thursday so i have a strength workout tonight the second one of the week i may or may not film it we'll see how i'm feeling later today yeah good week so far let's just keep pushing Ooh, man i'm a little tired but like I weirdly feel good at the same time this morning I have a hour-long endurance bike ride it said it was optional so that means we're doing it anyways I don't know why it says it's optional it says there's once oh, I need to update I don't have time for this but yeah it said it was an optional ride so we're doing it anyways no off days this week listen in my mind like Okay, every now and then, if you need to take an off day, take one. But if you're in a groove and you're feeling good, I don't feel like there's a need to, but that's just me. I know some people are probably going to disagree with that, but that's okay. Alrighty. It's currently 6 a.m. I had to get on the bike a little bit earlier than I normally would because I have to be in the office this morning at eight o'clock. But again, I feel decent, surprisingly. It's always weird popping on when it's still pitch dark outside. This morning I am going to do a route I haven't done before. It's a climb portal. If you guys use Wift, they have these climb portals that's not really like part of the route. It's just a random climb, but it looks like it's gonna be a 6% grade on the incline the whole time. So it said the full ascent is like 26, 60 feet. Since this is now only an hour ride, I want it to be an incline the whole time. Let's get this bad boy started. All right, only an hour to go. So this morning, since I only have an hour workout, I have this, which is filled with electrolytes. It's BP and electrolytes. So there's no carbs. And you know, depending on the day or and depending on the workout, that will determine if I have carbs in my drink or if I'll eat before. But for this workout specifically, I ate quite a bit last night. We had pizza, I had some cookies, a protein drink, so I'm still, feeling a little full from last night. I um, kind of had like five slices of, of pizza. In my mind, I'm like, okay, well, I don't really want any carbs this morning before the ride. So instead of using glucose as my energy source, cause you get your body stores glucose after you eat carbs. And then that's the energy your body feeds off of during a workout. But when you don't eat before, then your body will switch to an alternative source. 
and it will switch to your fat stores instead. So that's what I would like it to do, <laughs> to do this morning. Um, so no carbs in the drink, just electrolytes. Yeah, I mean, honestly, most of the time if I have a, oh shit, this incline kicked in quick, 14%. What the hell? I thought it said six. Oh, here we go. All right, that was a fucking tease. My mic died, but what I was saying is most of the time if I have a workout that's under an hour, then I will honestly do it fasted in the mornings. Just again to focus more on the, the fat stores and using those as energy. But if it's over an hour, your boy needs his carbs. For instance, tomorrow's three, three hours on the bike and then a 30 minute run. I'm eating. I'm eating before and drinking carbs throughout. God, these fucking inclines are 12%. What the, what the hell? <sighs> All right, I'm gonna crank out this workout. I'm gonna burn these legs, get stronger, and keep pushing. I'll check it at the end. Damn, that was fucking tough. Over 2,600 feet climbed. Oh. Hold on, I need a second to breathe. I went over the 59 minutes, but I wasn't not making it to the top. I was so close. So I just kept going a little bit longer. Well. <sighs> never done one of those climb portals before those things will kick your ass and it's like mind tricks because the color of the road changes based on the grade so it's like when you see a red part of the road coming up you feel like you're about to die good morning come here come here look who's, look who's awake Good morning. Oh, you like the taste of the sweat. Yeah, <laughs> Come wash your hands before you touch it. Top of the morning. It's about 7 a.m. I'll be honest, I wish I was still asleep. I'm kind of tired this morning, but we have a three hour bike ride, which is daunting to think about, honestly. This is the longest ride of training so far. So just mentally, it's gonna be challenging. To me, I don't, I don't feel like these long bike rides are as hard as like the speed workouts, but just mentally being on the bike for so long, that is the most challenging part. So I just need to like break it up, like hour by hour by hour. When I was training for my half Ironman. It seemed a little bit better just because I was like riding outside actually, but I'm just gonna be sitting here inside the whole time. <laughs> like I mentioned yesterday, since it is a longer ride, your boy's gonna be eating beforehand. I'm gonna do, let's do three oatmeal packets. So three oatmeal packets has, well one packet has 23 carbs. So this will have like 70, oh, 70 something carbs. Sorry, I'm not the best at math this early in the morning. I'm trying to be quiet too, because I don't want to wake the pup or Barry. After this three hour ride, I then have a 30 minute run. So this is actually a brick workout today, which I actually really, have, I, I like brick workouts. This is definitely the longest one of training so far though. So it should be interesting. I don't know what route I'm gonna do yet on Swift, but definitely one where I have some elevation to climb. I don't, I don't think I'm doing out do stuff today though. <laughs> Maybe something a little bit less of an incline. First sip, best sip. Never fails. For my past couple of long rides, I've been watching For All Mankind on Apple TV, but I don't know if I'm really in the mood for that this morning. So I gotta figure out what I wanna watch, cause that's gonna be like an important piece 
of getting this workout done, or at least making it go by fast. One show that Barry and I have been watching just at, at night is Blacklist. Highly recommend. That show's so good. I really like it. I wish I had I could watch that on the bike, but she'd get pissed at me if I like started watching ahead because that would make the bike go by quick. It keeps your attention the whole time. But I need something like that. So if you guys have any good shows that I should binge watch on the bike, put them in the comments because I need all the help I can get. Look who decided to wake up. Can you say good morning to everybody? Simba. Good morning, buddy. Say good morning. Daddy's gotta get on a three hour bike ride. I'm really procrastinating right now. Let's open the blind and you can see outside. Ooh, it's rainy outside. That's not good. Good thing you don't have to go out there, huh? Not a pretty day. It's not a pretty day. Good thing I have to bike ride inside. Are you gonna watch me while I bike ride? I have three hours. Yay! Yay! Okay, I'm just I'm just procrastinating at this point. I need to get on the bike. Yes, I do. All right, an hour and a half in. I've climbed over 1,600 feet, gone over 22 miles. I feel pretty good so far. The show Reacher's making it go by fast. It's pretty good. I have one of my fans over there. Isn't that right, Pumpkin? I right, pay attention. I don't know where my other biggest fan is. I ain't sleeping. An hour and a half left. The sun's coming out. It's been strong. My ass hurts. So we're almost there. 10 more minutes. Come on. These last 30 minutes have been dragging on. It's all mental. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, fuck. Oh, my legs, man. After the past couple of days, yesterday's climb and today, I climbed 3,000 feet of elevation too. Honestly, all I could think about was like that last 10 minutes was just wanting to eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I haven't even had one of those in a long time. Oh, now I just have a 30 minute run. <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or cry right now. All right, let me get my running shoes on and get out there. At least it's sunny now. All right, just started the run. My quads are really feeling it. After doing that 3,000 feet of elevation, that's something else. What's great is I only have 8,000 for the whole bike ride at Lake Placid. So that's gonna go just great. Just have an easy run though. Can't wait to be done with this. I'm honestly starving. Like I said, I could crush peanut butter and jelly right now. But I did have a gel before I came, came out here on this run. Hopefully that helps. It's not a long run, so I just need to power through. It's weirdly like 57 degrees in January, which makes sense, right? Especially in New York. But they just opened this new pathway on the east side. I don't even know if you can hear me, it's so windy. So it's packed out here today. I haven't seen it this packed on the east side by the water. I don't think ever. It was pretty nice. Eight minutes into this run, only 22 minutes left. Now I get to eat. Ah, 30 minute run complete. Got like 3.3 miles, I think. Longest brick of training is done. I'll be honest, I underfueled for that one. I didn't get enough carbs in my body. Hence why I'm freaking starving right now. You can definitely feel it hinder your performance too when you don't feel right. I know what my future holds today. Playoff football, probably one or two naps and food. Happy to have that one done. Whew. Now I just have an hour and 15 run tomorrow and it's a successful week. One man's journey to take back what's his with a little help from uh -oh. Of course uh -oh. it's gonna win. It's in the title. 
early victory. What is that? Starring Leslie what is that? Final performance February 4th, so take your tickets <laughs> now. Especially a dog dad. Isn't that right? Got you in a sling and everything. It's time to get you outside. Oh shit, it's raining. This is the perfect time. Sure, I need I can take a sandwich. Good morning and happy Sunday. I have an hour and 15 minute aerobic endurance run today. I'm gonna finish this run strong. We'll finish this week strong. This is the last one of the week. I have a running partner with me today. <laughs> That's just a sign that she's not loving it. We're going to finish the week strong. And I'll see you guys at the end of this run. God, I'm so close to being done with this run. I have about 10 minutes left. I've done 6.57 miles. I'm struggling. I feel a bowel movement coming. This is like, to me, the most scariest thing when you're running the most stressful if you have to use the bathroom. I'm just trying to make it home. Everyone knows that feeling. I know I'm not the only one. Come on, so close. Wow made it home i'll tell you what the end of that run was stressful that is for damn sure obviously you know why but i made it home in time no need to to worry because i was fucking worried when you have to use the bathroom during a run it just makes the run so stressful you can't focus on anything else anyways got like 7.26 miles during the run it was an hour and 10 minutes i was supposed to do an hour and 15 but I had more important things to, to deal with at the moment. So the five minutes, whatever, it, it was only five minutes that I, I didn't get in. Let me actually screen share so we can go over the week. So now I have the full week pulled up on the screen. As you can see, it was a pretty positive week. Everything is really in green, um, except for the swims. But again, I asked my coach about that because I was like, look, I, I'm doing all the sets, uh, but for some reason it's not adding up to the total plant distance, but she said it's completely normal. The most important thing is to focus on the sets and that you complete all of those, which I have been, so whatever. But uh, over here on the right is my total stats for the week. I biked 73.9 miles, I ran 15.4 miles, and then my total duration of workouts was 10 hours and 42 minutes, so almost at the 11 hour mark. So we're definitely building up volume for sure and it's only going to go up from here so i'm excited uh for that just again to continue to to grow and uh, get better at this also this was the first week with the puppy which went really well it, it is hard balancing like raising a puppy but also training other than that thanks for watching this week also i know i mentioned in previous video that I'm raising money through the Ironman Foundation for Lake Placid. So there is a link in the description that you can go and donate if you're so inclined to. I mean, if everyone that watched these videos in this channel donated $1, I would easily hit the goal. Again, this isn't for me. This is to help the communities that these Ironman races are held in. So definitely do that if, if you're willing to, if you're able to. And then make sure you follow me on Instagram, Strava, and anywhere else. Uh, thanks again for watching this week, and I will see you guys next week for another week of training.